Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make thumbnails. And the apps you need are listed on your screen. You need YT Studio, Fonto, Pixar, and Chrome. And first to get started, we need to go in Chrome and get any background we want. And I chose a background already. It's a rainbow glittery background. And now you want to go to Pixar. And now you want to click this um, little plus sign on the bottom and then import the image that you just took. Now, since we're done with this, you want to go into effects and you want to click blur, blur or anything else you want. You can try so many free stuff, but the things that say try, you shouldn't use it because then um, it's not really like good. And I'm going to use this called Tiny Planet. It's in the store. And now you click apply on the top of your screen. Now you want to go click fit and then click Retio and then you click YouTube. And now you click background and you just like choose some background you like or something like this. I like this background. So then you click apply. You now go to border and you want to make the radius, I mean radius, 9. And it has to be exactly 9 because that's what I like it. The inner has to be like 20 and the outer should be 30. And now all I do is color it. It's, um, I'll do like a little light blue for the outer. I'm going to fade it into a darker blue once we get inner and stuff like that. Okay, and now we hit apply. I'm actually going to change this fit a little bit. I want to change like the image area to like a rainbow. Okay, look at this like kind of. Okay, I'm going to change this into YouTube again. Okay, apply it. Now guys, I'm going to hit draw, and this is the most important part. When you hit draw, you want to like draw some stuff, or you can make shapes. I have a few shapes I like. And um, I'm going to set the color to a little velvet red, or a little light red. Okay. And now I'm going to select the rose. And we're going to be making a few roses in here. And um, if you don't like it, you can always erase it. I like to use the star erasing tool because it erases it into chunks and it's really useful. I actually don't really like making this stuff. But um, for the rose, you want to go to it in shapes and you want to click stroke. So like... Um, after it's like really thick or something. So like, um, yeah, that's how you do it. Now I'm going to erase the rose because that was what I expected. Okay, so um, I'm going to be putting some stickers, but um, you actually go in brushes, but you can also go and draw and draw some stuff too. But you want to click in brushes, and then you can add some like these cool stuff, like some hearts, rainbow hearts, and um, you can also like add some butterflies over here and here. You can also add some flowers if you want, and now you can also add like some stars and um, some little stars here too. And I'm going to replace the butterflies with some other butterflies. Yeah, and now you click apply. You go back to um, fit if you don't want your background. And I don't really like my background, so I'm just going to like... I wish I could like delete a background or something. Well, you should actually delete the background, but you can't actually delete the background. So you can only click the background, and then you click this eraser thingy. You want to click restore. And then the mug button might be restored, but um, it doesn't work, so I'm sad about that. But um, I'm just going to like find this background. Oh, this background is nice. You can click apply, 
And now we need to go to fit again, it's here, and back to the YouTube form. There we go. And um, I think something malfunctioned with this. I think we need to um, go and fit again because this has been malfunctioning lately. Okay, there we go. Uh, so I think we need to like adjust it a little bit later. But um, I think something's wrong with the border, but nothing's. Oh, the inner. The in oh wow, wow, wow. Okay, something was gotten wrong with this, so let's just fix it real quick. Okay, a light blue to a darker blue. There we go. Okay, now we apply it, and then now we click fit, and back to Rateo and YouTube. There we go. That works. And, um, I will actually, um, click next, and then you want to, like, click the X if there's an ad, click photos, and then, um, you can, like, use Fonto to edit some stuff, but I have an app called ABS Paint X. I'm going to use that to edit some stuff because uh, mine turned out to be a little wonky donkey. So I'm going to actually change my um, thing. I'm going to use um, the lasso for this. And um, I'm going to like have to like transform it and make it a little bigger. And I want to go back to our gallery. screenshot on Ibas Pin X but this is an optional app. I'm just using it because I don't want my thing to get all wonky donkey. So I'm going to have to go back to Pixart. And now you want to go to Pixart and now you want to like um, do the same things I just show you guys. Click this plus sign the thing that you just screenshotted apparently. And now you want to um, change the fit into the YouTube, and that's like basically it. I think the YouTube is also this, yeah. So all you have to do is hit apply, and you're gonna have to change the color of this, and I'm gonna change it to blue. And then you hit apply, you click next, and then again, oops, sorry. And then you wanna click photos. And now you go to Fonto and you can add the text. Just go in Fonto, click this camera, photo albums, and then click the thing that you just got, and then click done. And then click anywhere on your screen and click add text. And write um, what you want to type. So I'm going to write how to make thumbnails. And then you click done. You can move it around and I'm going to place it here. So um, after this, you want to click this upload image on the bottom of your screen and click save as PNG. And then click OK when it says save successfully. And then this is the last step. You go to YouTube Studio or YT Studio and then you want to click the latest video you have done. For example, my last video was this and then I click this um, pencil button here and then I click another pencil button and then you click change and then you'll get your um, stuff here. And now you can change your background. I hope you got a nice time, guys. Bye.